Well, welcome to 100% LCFC, and we're celebrating. I haven't wore this shirt, actually, for a while, but I kind of had to put it on to celebrate the fact Leicester are the Premier League champions. Doesn't that sound good? It's absolutely brilliant, John. I'm trying to stay away from unbelievable and remarkable yeah. and incredible because, you know, it is believable. We have been able to, you know, we've deserved it. We have been the best team in this division over the whole of the season. Take everything away. Take, take all your big hitters away. You just look at the facts and the stats and everything. Another thing that I'm not over keen on, so I don't know why I said that. <laughs> but if you look at it performance-wise, we have been the best team consistently for the whole of the season. Yes, that's true. But uh, quite a lot of punters didn't want to believe it as the season was progressing, did they? If you look at... Uh, you know, parts of the season, people were saying, well, they're bound to fall away, they're bound to fall away. It just didn't happen. I didn't. Well, I mean, I'm not saying you, but... Don't some, accuse some, me of that. I'm, I wasn't accusing you. I, I was saying <laughs> some else? punters. You're only... I, I know. Hey, you're a bit bigger than me. you gouge your eyes out like no, that. No, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> some people didn't want to believe. No, it, I know. I, well, I don't think it's that they didn't want to believe. It's that they did want to believe, but, but something's going to happen. But, um, you know, we're going to trip up. But the bubble's going to burst, that old cliche, John, that always seemed to come up on Facebook and social media and everything. But it just never happened. And then towards, to, well, the Spurs game capped it. Where were you? What were you doing when, with the Spurs-Chelsea game? Oh, I was actually working. I was uh, uh, in the ambulance. Uh, well, I, uh, not at the time. I was, I was uh, at, the, Do you mean, at the unit. Do you mean... I was you no. were in your ambulance listening to Leicester City. Sorry, listening to Spurs versus. Yeah, Chelsea, I did. Yeah, I did have it on. Some yeah. poor and firm old lady waiting for you to come and take it off. No, I was actually. What happened was when the game ended, I was actually stationary You're and waiting. A hole, John. No, waiting You're for patients to come out. No, because uh, <laughs> we we actually went into the the unit where I was and celebrated with with the patients. And then on the way uh, on the way, I was uh, transporting somebody. I uh, went through Leicester. And everybody's papping their horns, and you know, right. and it was, it was crazy. It was it was like after a game, you know, when you've won yeah. a big game. Uh, so the atmosphere in town, and a lot of people went down to the King Power, so it was really good. The atmosphere was amazing. Yeah, I mean, and it, it carried on to Tuesday as well, didn't it? Well, it did, and, it's, and the King Power has been busy ever since. Yeah. and it's going to be a wonderful occasion on Saturday when we play Evan. Yeah, of course we're going to get the you know the award of the trophy afterwards, which is going to be uh, a mega event. Uh, for Leicester, but you know, a word on Sven Joran Eriksson. You know, Gary Lineker, your mate's now got to do his his thing at the beginning of next season and wear his underpants, which will be. I think everybody's looking forward to that. Actually, do you think he'll do it? I think he'll do it. I think I think he'll enjoy doing it in a way. Given do what's happening, do you think happened. the BBC will allow him to do it? Yeah, I think they will. Why, why wouldn't they? Well, you never know. But anyway, it's, it's not like he said. He, it's not like he said he wouldn't wear anything. Listen, I've seen Gary Lineker with his knickers on. Never mind his knickers. Well, on the same I don't really want to know. Did I want to know that? Not really. If you want to know, you can. <laughs> um, no, but a, a fantastic. I'm really, really pleased for the supporters. I'm really pleased for for the manager, and I'm 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 so pleased, so 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 pleased for the players. But John, I think a few people have missed a trick, because. One of the big reasons that we were or have been as successful as we have, right, and it's no disrespect to anybody on this, we went out of cup competitions early. We were playing Saturday, getting three points, having a rest, playing Saturday, getting three points, getting a rest, playing Saturday. Your Spurs, your Arsenals, your Manchester City even last night, your Manchester, they've all been in Europe. Yeah. They've been in cup competitions. So they've been playing Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. I'm not giving them a reason. I'm just saying that has that has definitely contributed to us staying fresh, clear of injuries, clear of suspensions. It's only in the last two or three games that we've had a, a little sort of, you know, Jamie got a couple of game banned for something that he never should have. Rob Perth, well... <laughs> someday well, you know Man when Rob and Rob pull Fellini's hair? Yeah, yeah, well I was going to say about... Let's talk about Man United. You know, just a minute, somebody says he's funny. Somebody says to me on Facebook, he said, why, sh why should you be bothering about somebody pulling somebody's hair? In Leicester, we call that foreplay. 
I thought it was That's absolutely great. brilliant. But I went up Man United, I was at a, a local pub, and I had, uh, one pub I tried to get into was full. I think all the pubs in Leicester were filling up with people very, very quickly. They couldn't, could, even could, the, the local hero that we go to sometimes for a match, they had to turn people away. Yeah, yeah, that happened at a few places I went to. I got in eventually with some friends, and uh, the United game, I mean, obviously drink water sending off. It doesn't matter now so much, obviously. And Robert Hooth, you mentioned that yeah. already. But the game itself, I thought Man United started very well, didn't they, to be fair? Yeah, but then after just after half-time, we took control. Yeah. And uh, quite rightly, we were playing. Manchester United didn't have an answer to us. But you've gone to Manchester, you've gone to United, you've drawn 1-1. One, one. It's a great result. No matter what you say, it's a fantastic result. But um, then the wait for the Spurs-Chelsea game, I watched it on match of the day. I didn't know the score. Yeah, I mean, you did well to kind of I avoid told it. Matt, night, I told everybody, <laughs> don't be buzzing me with telling me somebody's gone one nil up or whatever. Leave me. And I watched it and watched it and watched it. When Eden Hazard put that goal in, well, I did go. What a goal, goal, actually. That was a good goal, wasn't it? Well, and, I mean, what a time to do it. Yeah. He hasn't really been prolific in front of a goal in the last Became a so. Chelsea fan for about five, five or ten seconds then, I think. But it was, yeah, it was just, <laughs> it, 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 was, it was amazing. But then I just went a bit flat. Really? Because, yeah. Well, right. I celebrated. Big, you know, right? Yeah, yeah. But then I thought, well, that's it. We've got two games left. We've won the league. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to keep I'm, going. I'm a, bit, I'm a bit confused. Well, no, yeah. I wanted to keep going. That excitement. Well, that, uh, well, I was going well, to ask you about that. Because obviously we got Everton, who are quite good away from home. Got the presentation of the trophy. And then we got Chelsea away. That would yeah. be quite nice in a way because we're kind of taking over from them. And you know, so, and I think, oh, they, well, think yeah, they're going to yeah, do a, yeah. from they're going to do a guard of honour and all Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Well, I think that I think the most uh, spectacular one's going to be away at Chelsea. Yeah. When they give us a guard of honour, they being the present champions. But the atmosphere. The, I mean, the atmosphere's been good at you know uh, at the King Power all season. Can you imagine what it's going to be like this week? It's not, no, there's no atmosphere better. Anywhere. No, no, but given what's happened, ah, this week's going to be amazing. It's absolutely wonderful, and I think you'll all agree we deserve to get, we deserve everything we get from good management, great players, great supporters. Ha <laughs> ha, we're champions. And uh, thanks very much for uh, staying in touch with 100% LCFC, who have got some uh, astronomical viewing figures oh, and listening figures at the moment. 100,000? Yeah. 100,000 likes. Make it a hundred thousand and one. <laughs> well, okay, cheers, Alan. <laughs>